Summer is coming, the weather's changing. Do you feel like you're fat? Do you feel like you don't have enough muscle mass? Do you not have energy, you just don't feel good about yourself? Do you wanna be a better version of yourself? If you said yes to any one of these things, then you need to call or text us here at Titan Medical Center. We have different programs for different people to hit different goals. So why not start today and be prepared, get ready for summer now, so you got the best version of yourself ready to go. Call or text 727-389-3220 and we will give you the plan to make sure that you succeed in your goals for summer and beyond. Here's what some of our team members have to say about being part of the Titan Medical Center workforce. I love working at Titan because of the fun atmosphere. I love working at Titan Medical Center because it's family oriented. I like working at Titan because it's never boring. I love working at Titan because I love to help our patients. I love working at Titan because the energy is always great. For more information, call or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Right now we're driving, so we parked and we've seen how the new billboard design was. Um, but we want to see how it is when you drive by the new billboard. What's up guys? We are here in beautiful sunny Tampa, Florida. And uh, we are looking at our new billboard design that just went up today. So if you guys are in the Tampa Bay area, by our national mall, I'm sure you guys will see it. A lot of people always sell our billboards. This one is definitely something special for I'm sure. Excited. I was right? pulled up and I was like, oh my goodness, yeah. this is so cool. So you always get to see the design <laughs> on the computer, but it's always just surreal when you get to see it in real life, up there, big in the sky. So guys, come check it out with us. And if you do see it, shout us a text or drop us a line and dm and say hey listen i see your billboard very cool you like it don't like it let us know <laughs> so we're going to check it out we love it and i hope you love it too Are you breaking the patterns to create change in your life? Are you creating healthy lifestyle patterns? Well, your environment and your crowd that you hang out will determine a lot of these different factors. If you're hanging out with people that are drinking all day, eating garbage food, not working out, and have no healthy lifestyle, you're probably gonna fall right into that track, right? Birds of a feather flock together. You've heard the whole saying, right? This could be true to you too as well. And your environment. If you're in a toxic environment, nothing's good around you, change these things. When you change these things, change will happen to you. If you change the group of people you're hanging out with, with people that work out, eat good, want to live a healthy lifestyle, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to fall in line with that. 
if you change your environment from a toxic environment to a positive, encouraging environment, this is gonna change the way that you feel about things. This can change your mood setting, right? All these different things can happen with you creating change by changing the pattern of where you're at in life. Make sure you're making the good, healthy lifestyle changes so that you can benefit from all the healthy lifestyle living. Feeling good, looking good, performing your very best, right? Creating a lengthier lifespan for yourself so you can enjoy more of your body out in the world for long extended periods of time. And being around your family, friends for a long extended period of time. These things will be your number one priority as you go forward. So make sure you're breaking the bad habits, creating good patterns, creating a good environment, and being around a great crowd that supports you and wants to make sure that you're doing your very, very best. Keep these things in line because this will help you with success for you to get into a healthy lifestyle and creating good, healthy patterns for yourself. What's up, guys? John here with the Internal Titan staff, the crew. We're out here for team bonding here at Top Golf here in Tampa. These ladies are all looking fresh to death, dressed down to the nines, and we're gonna go in there and have some fun. Sasha's ready for her Friday night snacks too. And she's got these old Wisconsin turkey sausages. High protein, low sodium, ready to go. So right now, I'm loading the players into the game. Of course, they tasked me with the, the manual labor here and the data entry, but don't worry. I'll do it like a champ. right here. We're still putting some additions on, but the people that are here right now, these are their true baddies. And then we have John. <laughs> He's all the muscle behind the baddies. <laughs> Anyways, cheers guys to a good night and an awesome team. We love you guys. Cheers! Team Bonnie got its best. Let's go. So that's it guys, another <laughs> Team Titan, Team Bonding in the history books. We came, we saw, we conquered, and we hit a ton of golf balls. And these ladies definitely impressed me across the board. So hopefully have more Team Titan bonding events for you guys to see. We definitely will, so there isn't a hopefully. I'm putting it in words, in writing, or on video right now for you guys. So stay tuned, we're gonna have more crazy events coming at your way. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I've got another great health tip just for you guys. Whether you're working out the gym or you're going about your daily life, there's one major thing that's truly important you should not be forgetting. Forget supplements, forget all the rest of the things. Let's talk about water. That's right, hydration is key. It's key for properly bodily functions. That's right, for your body to optimally function, it needs water. Your vital organs are made up of water, your blood's made up of water, your body's made up of over 70% of water. So it's truly important just to work on a daily aspect. Right? Let's talk about cognitive function and mood enhancement. That's right, you didn't think water could help you think better, right? But it truly does. This is all studied, all scientific facts. So if you wanna be more in tune to things and even have a better mood, properly hydrate every single day. Next thing, digestion and weight loss. How many people out there have poor digestion? Or trying to find that little trick to get them the extra weight loss that they need. And they might not be drinking enough water. I don't know how many people I come across in the gym that do not hydrate properly all through the day. 
especially when they're working out hard and getting rid of some of the electrolytes and things that water replenishes every single day. Let's talk about skin. If you want healthier skin, you want clearer skin, water can help you along with that too. So that's important just for your aesthetic purposes on the outside. You don't want bad skin, nobody does. So hydrate properly with water and you'll probably have better skin. The next thing, it will make sure that you don't go into dehydration. Dehydration can cause a lot of different health aspects that are negative. Plus it can become terminal if it gets too bad. So make sure you're hydrating every single day. I know it's so important. I know you probably heard it many of times through your life, but really take it serious. Whether you're working out in the gym, it's gonna be great for recovery, it's gonna be great for bodily functions, digestion, weight loss, all these great aspects. It's also gonna make you more vascular too as well. You wouldn't think that, right? You think if I drink too much water, I'm gonna be bloated. It's the opposite effect. If you don't drink enough water, your body kind of goes into the shock and it holds on to all the water, which causes water retention in the body. If you drink water, you'll actually lose weight and you'll actually look leaner. So make sure you're getting your proper hydration and your water every single day. I know they recommend usually eight cups of water. I usually drink about a half a gallon to a gallon a day. Everybody's different. And your health aspect, what's going on with that, could determine how much water you need to intake every day too as well. For example, if you're in kidney disease, you only need to take in so much water a day. If you're taking too much, it could be bad for you. But the normal person can drink usually about a gallon of water a day, or at least a half gallon, and be properly hydrated, okay? And you know me, listen, I lead by example, and you'll never see me without a water bottle in my hand. You can ask anybody. I'm always hydrating because I know how important it is. And you know what? If you don't like this water bottle like this, or you think your water is getting hot throughout the day, don't worry, I got your back there too. Just get an awesome ice shaker type mug. This thing will stay cold all day long. You'll have nice, fresh, crisp water to drink on, whether you're in the gym, or you're walking down the street, or you're at your job. So don't neglect it. Don't cheat yourself. Hydrate properly. If you need to keep it cold, get a Titan ice shaker cup too as well. It's another health tip just from Titan Medical Center to me, to you guys. I love you guys. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay tight and strong. <sighs> just now getting to work. Day in the life of Sharice the Chorus. Ugh. All right, lock the car. That's always important. We'll lock it and put remotely this way. Hi, Anissa. How are you? Good, good. All right. So I usually do my rounds when I get to work real quick. Say good morning. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hey, Ashley. How are you? Good? That's great. Awesome. Hey, Savannah. How are you doing? Good. Hey, Jess. How are you doing? Good? Hi. Awesome. Art's usually in here and I say hello. Oh, there he is. Hey, Art, how you doing? Good. Hey, what's up, ladies? How are you? Good morning. How is everything? Good, good, good. Hi, Nicole. How's everything going so far? Good, good, good. Busy, busy, busy. So typical. All right, let's check with the girls up front. Can't forget them. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Good, how's everything going? Good? Awesome. It's just busy, busy. All right, let me know if you need anything. All right, back down this incredibly long hallway. And yes, I actually do walk this fast. Hey, Chanel, how are you? My awesome nurse practitioner. Okay. Grab this bag over here. Oh, you would think there was a dead body in here, maybe. Okay. We walk back this way, get over to the lounge, see if I could pop up my computer real quick, see what's going on. Check my emails because it seems as though in my 20 minute drive to work, there's so much going on. Let's do this. Oh. All right, first things first. I mean, you gotta, I have to show you guys this. I mean, seriously, how adorable is this case? It's just so adorable. And then when you open it, it's us again. Anyway, that's irrelevant. All right. So the reason I have three phones, one rings here. This one here is for the office line. 
I can see what's going on, how fast and what's going on. Are the calls getting picked up? If they're not getting picked up, this phone will be utilized to call the staff to find out why they're not picking up this phone when you guys call. And then this one is for my video to make sure that I am monitoring what's going on over there. Whether I'm there, here, at the house, hopefully on an island one day. I mean, that's not happening anytime soon. But um, that's kind of what takes place. And look, see? Now we know somebody's calling Titan Medical Center and it was picked up by the second ring. That is exactly what I expect. That makes me a happy girl. So anyways, we're gonna pop on this computer. From here, we check the emails, text messages, see what's going on and make sure everybody's up to date on their stuff and go from there. But you know, this is how it starts off every day. And uh, don't find this intimidating. Three phones is nothing, I mean probably have four phones soon. Maybe I'll just have one phone when I get to finally retire, but we'll see when that is. Bye. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, me and this little beautiful thing over here, I call my wife, I give you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully entice, enhance, and bring your relationship to a whole new level, right? And a positive one, hopefully, at that. And if you don't, or you're not in a relationship right now, you don't have a partner, don't worry. You guys can take all this great information, store it for later, yeah, file it. and then utilize it when you find that special person, or you think you found that special person, because some of the information we provide, you might start weeding out some people, which would probably be better for you too as well, right? You're not wasting time. You're on, on this earth for only a limited amount of time. So you want to make sure that time is used properly, right? Right. You don't want to waste it on anybody or anything. You can't waste time. You can't buy it. I wish I could buy time. I would buy so much of it. Yeah, time would be good, right? Yeah. There's all different types of movies where they just, you know, they live on time. So right. anyway, this week we've got a little, uh, like, example, I guess, for you guys. So, you know, when we've talked in past shows, we've talked about how date night is very important with a relationship. Obviously, in the beginning, when you first start dating, you're taking the girl out or, you know, the guy, whatever it is, and you guys are going to do fun things. You guys are bonding. You guys are having fun. You guys are learning more about each other um, and their likes, maybe habits, sports, whatever it may be. So at that point, you know, we do the exact same. Right. So we, you know, we live by example. We're showing you guys kind of what it is. So this last Saturday, we decided we were going to go do something really cool. I've been wanting to go to this different place is open up west of Chapel, Florida. It's called Pop Stroke. Yeah, yeah. it was actually really cool. Really cool, right? Yeah. Um, Pop Stroke's like, uh, it's Tiger Woods owned uh, miniature golf course. So it's got two different courses on it, a bar, a restaurant, um, you know, upgraded putters. So, you know, the old school putters where you had to, you know, have like a doll end. And like, yeah, you know, it was real just, tiny. And yeah, it looked real tiny. You can actually get tailor-made clubs for an extra 10 bucks, I think of what it was. Uh, really, really fun. So, you know, going there and doing the miniature golfing thing. Yeah. So obviously when you go and you do an activity like this, even if you guys don't like miniature golf, this might be a good one for you guys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was and plus fun. you gotta like, you know, it is just you guys technically. And it's not like a movie because in the movies you don't talk, right? That's your silent moment. <laughs> Sometimes that's good for you too. So you can just sit next to each other, enjoy each other's company and there is no need to talk. However, you do need to conversate sometimes. Yeah. So this is nice because, you know, you would go to each hole and yeah. like, you know, obviously we were playing and, you know, I'm an incredibly competitive individual. Um, I think that's honestly why John, one of the reasons John married me is because I'm so competitive. Um, I will never sit back and lose and I'll just, I'll just never lose. But I mean, I did lose by like a point or two, maybe three. Um, but it was, it was, I was close, right? You know, I didn't just have him destroy me. No, she did really good. <laughs> she did really good. You know, we started off, uh, you know, we got something to eat there real quick, which food was pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, she had, uh, I think, a, a margarita. I had some water. It was really good, right? The, the experience, the service was really good. And those girls were the waitresses. I think she's working like 16 hours, you said, or something like that. Yeah. She did really good for doing that. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you know, we approached the course. And like Sheree said, we kind of got it. And, you know, she is competitive. <laughs> and I'm competitive, which is really good because you want some competitiveness with you guys. Now, it, Not shouldn't, bad be, competitive, it yeah. shouldn't be a competitive thing in everything you do. Right. Right. I did this. Well, I did this. I, that's not that's that type of competitive. No, no. Fun competitive. Fun competition. Yeah. Right. Funly Fun. competition. So, 
you know, we were going back and back, back and forth, excuse me. And at that point, you know, we played pretty good. She played pretty good. <laughs> And, I was uh, ahead for a while. I was ahead for a while. By one, by I one messed stroke. up on one thing. Just one thing, and then it was, ooh. She messed up a couple times, and I missed a hole in one. It was real close. It was like this close. So, But it was good, yeah. right? We got to really talk about you know, stuff that we don't really get to talk about, like outside of work. Yeah, try and, to keep it non-work related. Yeah, you know, and, you know, we're having fun doing it. Took some video, so you guys will get to see some of this B-roll and stuff like that. Uh, but it was, it was cool. It was a good experience. It's fun. That's clean right and it's it's productive so what i mean by that so it doesn't have to involve drinking drugs right. any negative environment it's a good positive clean environment um and you know it's some sort of activity now it's not going to be like playing a basketball game or a football game where you're spending all these different calories but you are walking you know to hold a hole you are swimming the clubs i mean it's a little bit of expenditure as far as calories go but it's cool right because like I said, it's a bonding thing. Now you guys have went and did this miniature golf. You guys can take pictures there. You know, it's it's setting up memories. Yeah. I mean, our picture we took, and I'm definitely going to give this over to you guys so you guys can see it, but I held the club up like this, and it actually looks like I have a bicep. I mean, like, I definitely don't have a bicep. <laughs> but in this picture, I mean, I was, like, super bicepping. Gunned up. <laughs> gunned up. I had guns, right. guns. It was fun. Uh, you know, we were there for only like probably about two hours, two and a half hours. I think that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, they had two courses. So they have like an easy course, which obviously I'm like, we're definitely going there first because I'm not working my way backwards. And then the next time we come, we can go to the harder course. But yeah, we went around the whole thing. And obviously there was a lot of people there. And, yeah. you know, you have to wait for them to go through there. Yeah. But it's really cool because they have like a bench pretty much yeah. at every single hole. Yeah. So like you can sit down talk to each other for a little bit yep. you know whatever it might be but it's nice it's just a nice environment got some music in the background and stuff yeah. they've got a big tv on the outside of it and you'll yeah. see in one of these videos um where like a big games game. are going on or whatever it is you could be out there having a good time and still watch what's going on in the game i mean it's a pretty huge tv that's out there um so that was that was really cool i mean the other benefit was is they'll bring the drinks right to the hole wherever you're at. You just order them through the app and they'll bring them right to you, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I ordered mine and never came. We were at the end of the, <laughs> end, end of the night where they closed down the bar because we were oh my, there that um, late. I ordered that at hole three. I figured I'd get it by hole six. We are now at hole 13 and I do not have my margarita. <laughs> both courses, there's a red and a black one. Um, they went to 18 holes on both ones, which is really, really cool. So. You guys might want to go try it. Right? Yeah, it could be any like anything like that. I mean, all the putt putt places are fun because, yeah. and even if you suck, because some of you guys yeah. might suck, huh? but even if you are not good at the game, you can still go have fun. Right. You know, um, just try though, so that way you're not like you know hitting the ball like that way and then this way and then this way again. Once you get to like three, just put it on the scorecard and just like we're going to the next hole. Yeah, right. And it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Keep it nice and fun like that. If not, it's like. Are you going to get it in the hole, or what are you doing? We finished all ours, so, I mean, we were pretty good. <laughs> Most of them were par that we did. was really, really good. Killed it. Um, it was good. It was definitely fun. <laughs> like I said, competition-wise was there. And this isn't something you got to – you don't got to go administer golfing, but we're giving you an example and want to show you, like, we practice what we preach. Yeah, we were out there, and it, was just, it wasn't even something we thought about prior to, but we yeah. were there, and we were like, oh, this would be cool to share on Cupid's Corner because, yeah. like, it would have been nice to have somebody follow us around. And I was like, well, you know – not really and yes i would like to get you know some of the you know stuff we're doing but i also that would also make us not alone <laughs> we would not be alone we would have somebody with a camera so yeah i preferred that because it was nice so i mean and you like i said whatever you guys are doing when you guys are going on these dates take some video and take some pictures yeah just so you can memories. remember you know it's, it's memories right and you guys can cherish these memories. You guys can look back on these things. You guys can make collages later, these video collages that are online, all these different things. You can actually print photos now in beautiful frames and get them up. So, yeah. you know, you never know. And the cameras are so good on phones these days um, that you're going to get an excellent picture, excellent video. And you can show your kids later on or whatever it may be, right? It's just really, really cool. I wish that we had this technology when I was a kid. I was trying to ask John. I'm like, you yeah. don't have any, like, kid pictures or, like... Where yeah. are your pictures? You know, and I was, child. I was born in 1981, so... I know, was born in 86. I, I know. So, yeah, and that, I got so pictures. Like, well, I mean, I've got... I think my mom's got some pictures in a picture book and a scrapbook or whatever it is, I'm right? getting with you, Diane. But there isn't, like, a whole bunch <laughs> of... It's not like what we have for Peter today. 
No, right? I mean, yeah, we have pictures of him every day. And, and think about it. It's all digital. Those things are never going to go bad, right, right, per right, se. Right, yeah. You can always, you know, send them anywhere you want. You yeah, can store cool. them in a cloud anywhere. And now you always got them. Yeah. The only the good thing about pictures before was it was something physical. Yeah, it was, it was tangible. really cool, right? Tangible. You know, people would put them on the walls, put them on the fridge, whatever. And, you know, the downside of that is you might, those photos might get ruined, too. So. Yeah. These will never get ruined. So there's an upside and a downside yeah. to, to both, I guess. I agree. But it's it's just it's just something that, like I said, it, get those memories. It, it's something you should definitely do. For sure. Um, it's always good to live in the moment. So I was this person before where I always hold a camera and everywhere I went, and that's what I was focusing on: getting the picture, getting the video, and not really enjoying the moment. So now I've I've kind of flipped it where I'm enjoying the moment. Yay. And I want to get the pictures and video. So now, like, I'll, I'll pull it out because I'll have to tell myself, like, listen, I should really get this on video or a picture because I think it's going to be cool later on to look at, to share, whatever it may be. But I like to focus on the moment and enjoy what's going on around me. It's really cool because I don't get to do it a lot. So now I've been trying to tell myself, this is what you need to do. So enjoy the moment with your partner, too, yeah. as well, right? Now, don't just be focused on the picture and the video because you can just be doing this all day long. Yeah. But you're not focusing and you'll, on you'll enjoying lose. it you'll lose that window of opportunity to really be able to communicate and bond with your significant other. Yeah. And there's always good other good ways to get out there and get crazy, right? So, you know, this is more of like a chill, laxed, like, you know, date night. But you guys can go get some excitement too. Don't be boring. Um, there's different things you can do. So, you know, next month we'll probably do a Cupid's Corner uh, where me and Sharice are going to go to a music festival. And we'll get that on there. We'll get to show you some of the behind the scenes and kind of what's going on there. <laughs> you know, I, I'm you know I'm getting too old for some of these different things, but uh, you know, a couple of my buddies they, they want to go. It's the last hurrah type deal, and we're gonna do it right VIP style. So you know, I'll go you know enjoy a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to enjoy because I'm gonna probably want to go to bed. I early. don't know how much we're getting on in camera. We're gonna leave some of that off. I'm the gonna TV. I'm gonna get some of the stuff. <laughs> For you guys to see it's in vegas uh, you know, what happens in vegas stays in vegas okay still very conservative <laughs> so at that point you guys get to see all the behind the scenes and some of that live stuff that's probably going on um but i just <laughs> want to share that because that's something you guys can do too if you guys like music you guys go to a concert we're going we are going somewhere this friday yeah we can do something this friday i'm so, saying we're going this we're doing yeah, it friday we're gonna, yeah we're gonna go to a, a and local we have, we have a Tampa. table and we're, we're, every time we go somewhere we have music and then we dance yeah we dance together that's actually one of the I think, and I'm sure he does too. One of like one of our favorite outlets because music is amazing. Yeah, definitely. So guys, stay tuned because we're gonna have awesome the behind the footage from this Friday going on maybe the next show because we always like to show you guys that too as well. Yes. And more great information, tips and tricks to enhance, entice, and make your relationship probably one of the best ones you'll ever have. Hopefully, right. So we'll see you guys next Sunday. Another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. If you guys didn't get to watch it live, you can DVR it or just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe and all the notification bell, and you guys will get all of the Cupid's Corner shows and a lot, lot more of our cool content. We'll see you guys next Sunday on Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. See you then.